The Iron Man by Teddy Goose, Chapter 1, The Coming of the Iron Man. The Iron Man came to the top of the cliff. How far had he walked? Nobody knows. Where did he come from? Nobody knows. How was he made? Nobody knows. Tall in the house, the Iron Man stood at the top of the cliff on the very brink of the darkness. The wind sang through his iron fingers. His great iron head Shaped like a dustbin, but as big as a bedroom, slowly turned to the right, slowly turned to the left. His iron ears turned this way, that way. He was hearing the sea. His eyes, like headlamps, glowed red. Glowed white. Then, then red. Then infrared. S searching the sea. Never before had the Iron Man seen the sea. He swayed in the strong wind that pressed against his back. He swayed forward on the brink of the high cliff. And his right foot, his enormous iron right foot, lifted up into space. And the Iron Man stepped forward off the cliff into nothingness. Crash! Down the cliff the Iron Man came toppling over heels. Crash! 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 <laughs> From rock to rock to snag to snag. From rock to rock to snag to snag, tumbling slowly. And as he crashed and crashed and crashed. Iron legs fell off, his iron arms fell off, and the hands fell off the arms. His great iron ears fell off, and his eyes fell out. His great iron head fell off. All the separated pieces tumbled, scattered, crashing, bumping, clanging, down to the rocky beach far below. A few rocks tumbled with him, then silence. Only the sound of the sea chilling away on the edge of the rocky beach where the bits and pieces of the Iron Man lay scattered far and wide, silent and unmoving. Only one of the iron hands lying beside an old sandy log washed up Seaman's boot waved its fingers for a minute like a crab on its back. Then it laid still. While the stars went on wheeling through the sky and the wind went on tugging at the grass on the cliff top and the sea went on bellowing and booming. The Iron Man had fallen. Night passed. Just before dawn, as the darkness grew blue and the shapes of the rocks separated from each other, two seagulls flew crying over the rocks. They landed on the patch of sand. They had two chicks in a nest on the cliff. Now they were searching for food. One of the seagulls flew up. Ah! He had seen something. He glided low over the sharp rocks. He landed and picked up something up. 
something shiny, round, and hard. It's was one of the Iron Man's eyes. He brought it back to his mate. They both looked at the strange thing, and the eye looked at them. It went from side to side, looking first at the at one girl, then at the other. The girls peering at it thought it was a strange kind of clam peeping at them for its shell. Heidi Gerrish and El Ella Wilson Atanasoff. 